On July 28, 2022, all roads lead to Asia Langoro in Umunat Autonomous Community, Abombi Sin, in Imo State. As one of the most outstanding patriots and philanthropists of Umbi Sin, in the person of barrister Emmanuel Chukunyere Njoko, Paris' younger brother, who died after a protracted illness despite all medical efforts and care that money could afford. Alas, when death comes, no amount of money can negotiate otherwise. As expected, given the personality of barrister Iman Joko, as popularly called, be seen dignitaries and stakeholders, politicians, business moguls, traditional rulers, and Ezra Zumbi Sin members defy the reign to honor the burial. Mr. Joseph Chidebere Njoko died at the age of 46, leaving behind his lovely wife Unyechi and four beautiful children, two boys and two girls. The burial mass took place at St. Jude's Catholic Church every day. Obviously, the church is undergoing some renovations or reinforcements, and we are told by Mr. Iman Njoko is the man behind it all. Even after he, he has sponsored the roofing and re-roofing of the church, even the flooring and several other projects pertaining to the church. This is the man behind the famous road maintenance project from Ungobala to Upper Branch. Awesome. Here is a simple, unassuming, humble man with a very big heart, doing mighty things. At this juncture, all he could do is to give his brother a befitting burial. <laughs> So, and 
，因为差多一些，懂不懂？那还有好事办，就只有大家帮忙，对吗？因为当服务 consolation to you。And the chin neck goes to the gate because there's no law, you know, they may they will always be there to support you. So even though now they do another here, another one, they will give you the money, which I don't like. Yeah, I mean, I'm a girl from mine, a member of the family, yeah, I'm here, yeah, I cannot put there, so. After the mass, the body of Mr. Joseph Chidebere Njoko, the MD of Jotec, a reputable engineering company involved in solar installations of all kinds, leave for interment at his home in Asia Langoro, Umunat Autonomous Community, whose traditional ruler is His Royal Highness Eze Leo Mokocha Atodiri, the chairman of Umbisin Council of Traditional Rulers, and who was present to pay his last respect to one of his industrious come illustrious subjects. The interment was laden with emotions that a drop of tears nearly escaped my eyes.
So painful to lose such a hardworking and bright man so early. He was a mentor to many, a youth builder, as his boys were fully on ground in their paramilitary regalia to pay last respect to their boss. If only death could heed to tears, perhaps Dejo, as fondly called, would have risen. Nevertheless, his legacy continues with his children, especially his brilliant first son, who gave a good rendition of his tribute. Program for the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna, Northern Nigeria. Yo, he couldn't conclude the program, but he still identified with the Nigerian military force from some specific military as assignment to his death. He later proceeded to Mburu Secondary Commercial School in Kenguru, where he completed and wrote his West African School Certificate Examination. At the secondary school, they say it can be said. While in the school, he was so distinguished in academic performance due to his brilliance and also took part in lots of school co curricular and extracurricular activity. Later, he got admission into the Technological Skills Acquisition Institute, ALO, where he was awarded National Diploma Certificate in National. Mechanical engineering in 2006. Like a thief of an old block, he showed interest in business. As a young entrepreneur, he showed conf convincing capacity in auto automobile business, which flourished very well. International training. Mr. Joseph C. Noble had a few years ago traveled to Germany, Europe to learn modern techniques of the renewable solar powered light, which he successfully completed. Until his death, he, he undertook the installation of solar refrigerators in health center, in Imo State and in Abia State. He undertook the servicing and installation of renewable solar power throughout the Knox and Clarence of Asia to eat the neighboring communities. While he was at, at the Ite Secondary School, he fell in love with his aunt of Mrs. Onyet Joseph Njoko, whom everyone doubted, but at last, the name of his wife 
let her convince that she is the special gift from God to him. The relation with the relationship blossomed and, and flourished to be blessed with four children, two boys and two girls. Christian and social life. Mr. Joseph C. Joko was grown. The reception continued as DJ compound and families compound members relatives kids and kings in-laws well wishers and guests were entertained while the dignitaries friends colleagues and associates of barrister iman joko proceeded to his state-of-the-art mansion a little distance away from the original family compound for a special reception the atmosphere was charged with the arrival of his excellency right honorable emeka ihedoa as the PDP women cheered and sang. The party stalwarts, including engineer Chibuza Galanda, the PDP Abo Ngobala, federal constituency flag bearer, as well as NBC renowned architect Peaceman Ayamu, were all on ground to receive His Excellency. As usual, His Excellency took time to greet all and sundry before. Been ushered into the house. By Reception continued to sunset.
A day after, Onyonyo Bisekru paid a court say come condolence visit to Barista Manjoko in his house. During the interview, he took time to appreciate Mbise people for standing by him and his family members during their grief while speaking on other matters which would be broadcasted separately on Onyonyo Bisekru's special interview segment. Just follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook. On Sunday 31st, the outing service mass held at the same St. Jude Catholic Church as the Barista Iman Joku and family, few siblings, kinsmen, relatives, friends joined the immediate family of late Mr. Joseph Chidebel and Joku for Thanksgiving. After the mass, a special thanksgiving prayer was conducted by the priest at the grave of late Mr. Joseph Jocko in the midst of his loved ones. Since we couldn't get to interview the family members and people on the burial day, the Thanksgiving Sunday afforded us the opportunity to do so. Jesus Christ, when he was dying, he told his uh, disciples, he said that the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom he goes. So, make a reference to Judas, the person that betrayed him. So, if any man or any woman stands, he is in the death of uh, my brother Joseph. Well, there are many dates for him. So that is that. Okay, so, so appreciate you, Mr. People. Yeah, 
So for our brothers and our sisters, our friends and we wish us the, the reverence that came from far and near to um, be with us. Especially when the, the, when, the, when the news was disclosed to my mother. We say thank you, big thank you to all of you. We appreciate them, we thank God for them, we thank God for their lives. And we thank God for everything as everything has gone. To God be the glory. I appreciate you all. Have a good afternoon and happy Sunday. We have just finished Mass uh, in honor of our brother, Joseph. It's a Thanksgiving Mass, usually when somebody is buried. Go to the weekend, of course, he was buried. He was buried on Thursday. No, yes, Thursday, yes. Anyway, he was buried on Thursday. And today the family thought it wise to do the Thanksgiving Mass. The Mass of Thanksgiving is what we do now. And that Mass of Thanksgiving shows that uh, we are grateful to God for His mercy generally upon the dead and the living. Mass means Thanksgiving. So when we come for Mass for any reason, it's Thanksgiving. And we have opportunity to thank God at all times. So at the end of the Mass, we now came together to pray at his grave. We cannot stop praying for the dead. The Bible also said, pray for the dead so that they'll be losing from their sins. When somebody dies, we won't beat our chest and say, oh, the person has gone to heaven, or oh, he's in poverty, or oh, he's in hell. No, we are hopeful that, oh, we'll go to heaven. But whether we go to heaven directly, immediately, or not, we pray for the dead. And even if the person is already in heaven, the prayer is not wasted. Every death person needs prayer. So that's what we did now at the grave side. And I made at that prayer. I'm privileged and happy to be at that prayer. And uh, the little I know about the Wilson, uh, incidentally, I'm the last priest that spoke with him before he died. I had his confessions for about three times. And uh, in the last confession I had, I did counseling for him, I did conf uh, confession. Uh, the sacrament of reconciliation and finally I anointed him. I don't forget his last word. His last word was that of thanksgiving still. He held my hand and profusely said thank you Father. And that meant a lot for me. That was on a Saturday. After that encounter on a Saturday, on Sunday he died. So he died 24 hours after talking with me. So it means a lot to me. I heard that he's a tough man, a hard man and all that. But his end was a uh, not wonderful, but as weak as a lamb, a calm person, repented, uh, won over by the Lord and showed it by words and action and we are happy about it. So he died upon the grace of God. You know, God showed him a lot of mercy and uh, he enjoyed that grace. For that I say thanks be to God also and I still pray that his soul be rest fully in peace. Your name, sir. My name is Father Magella. My name is Sam. Um, Reverend Sister Professor of the of the Because the same is in place, 
found that they wanted to created a very big family in the family. In my life, I can move about that name. And you know me here to that is my way. But again, I can't get men. I'm wearing my name and my car and kind of men and carry with him away to the Kunaka. On your master, the book here, the Titian. I neck and neck to put my country in a civil and has a way here. Ambition to live. On only can want a young family, little kids to train. Mana, a woman said to pray to her. I ain't naked, you know, you're quite zero, you're gonna call it a tiny, the little kids in on an air, no so rich. Now, so quasi, who didn't need your foot around, and then about a rhyme, put your son worry. Catupu goes here. A bumuche, I know no wab, I know sea, but I guess no wab, walk I went to be money, and the yabon cast you behind worry, neighbor on one nine. A steady catch upon a stern and maran catch with two puny old hairy. It you way, Mesian do a cow we can wear a wound, and I open the lanya, now one nine yan, not two puna. Obey Zuko, Iana has a man, man and cake camp, I would have not. Chupu aborogoya and chupu genya yono de demma. I cannot thank the MBC people, the MBC nation enough for you know all the sacrifice they made coming out and mass to support us uh, when we laid my brother Joseph in Joko to rest. You know that day was very different in so many ways. It rained so heavily, and uh, but in spite of the weather, people were not deterred. So people came out. We showed love, you know. And uh, I thank the MBC people so much. I cannot thank them enough. I'm really grateful to everyone who came out that day, who defied the weather to come to show solidarity with us and my prayer is god bless you all god will reward you all for your good work thank god mama barista man Jokush, mother survived the shock of losing a son in his prime as we could sense her deepest pain and grief from the stable for union Bishe, we can do with barista iman joko and siblings over their loss we pray that such a timely death never happen again. As we wish, let Mr. Joseph Chilebe Njoko a peaceful eternal rest in the bosom of his creator.